Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I've got a couple of muzzle devices for your AR-15. These are the Muzzle Rise Eliminators from New Frontier Armory. Let's check them out. So let's just quickly go over the, the look and feel and design of these. So basically they have three, three rows of holes on the top there that you can see. So the holes are only on the top here. This should be fitting on your rifle like this and nothing on the bottom. It looks like a nice thick wall there. And you can go, you can see that the uh, dimension inside there looks pretty uniform all the way through, which should mean that if you had a thread adapter on here, you should be able to fit a 300 blackout through there as well and be able to use this for two different calibers. But in today's video, we'll be using the 5.56 or .223 Remington cheap steel Red Army ammunition just to check how much muzzle rise this eliminates. So we're gonna be doing a test with the standard A2 birdcage, then switch onto this and check out the muzzle rise. We'll be doing all the tests with the Mantis X10. So again, if you like this video and you like what you see out of this, go ahead and go to New Frontier Armory. I'll put a coupon code in the description if you'd like, and you can go ahead and pick yourself up some of these. They're only 10 bucks, pretty affordable, and you can pick up some other things as well. All right, we're gonna film this in 4K, 60 frames per second. Hopefully that's 60 frames per second. I can slow down enough so at least you can kind of see how the muzzle rise eliminator is working here. I already got the Mantis installed here on the top and connected to the app. We got our 10 rounds that we're gonna be testing with the steel case 223 Red Army Standard Ammo with the original A2 birdcase muzzle device. So I'm gonna to try to get out of the frame here and hopefully get a nice clear view of this muzzle. All right, Mantis is connected. Just to go over it, our average muzzle rise was 0.19. I do have a binary trigger on there. Maybe we could try to shoot that at rapid speed and really see a difference between the two muzzle devices. So let's do that next here. And since that only picked up nine rounds on the Mantis, let's go ahead and shoot one more so the test is fair. There we go. Okay. All right, now we are going to do binary mode here. And we're gonna see how the muzzle rise is with the standard A2 birdcage, okay? We try to go at a decent rapid pace here for you. That way we can see how it goes on both of them. <laughs> you like that binary trigger? Uh, yeah, that was my very first time shooting with the binary trigger and boy, that was fun and fast. Let's see what the muzzle rise even was. Okay, yeah, you're definitely not gonna be able to see anything. It counted this as one shot. I'm gonna screenshot this and show you guys on the screen here. But um, okay, we're not gonna be able to use Mantis for binary trigger shooting. So we're just gonna have to put the video side by side between the A2 birdcage and the muzzle rise eliminator. So binary safe. All right, I think we're good with that. All right. Let's go ahead and swap out the muzzle device. It's a good thing that I've only done 20 shots so far because the barrel is starting to get hot, but not hot enough where I can't touch the muzzle. All right, now we'll screw on the muzzle rise eliminator from New Frontier Armory and make sure that your holes are aligned on top. And hold on, let's go get the wrench. Get yourself one of these wrenches to tighten it down should be doing this at home with your vice block and everything. But I don't have that with me here out on the range. And as long as you have the flat edges here, straight up and down, then you know you're good, you're centered and everything like that. So we're centered. All we gotta do now is load the magazines. All right, 10 more rounds of Red Army Standard 223 steel case ammo with the muzzle rise eliminator. We're gonna do slow steady shots for the Mantis X10. And the reason we're doing the Mantis X10 is so that you believe the data more than you believe what I'm telling you.
Well, there it says I had 11 shots, but I'm pretty sure I only had 10. Five on each side of the mag, so we're gonna follow this up later. All right, and the last part of this video on the test, we're gonna switch to binary 10 rounds with the 223 Red Army Standard Steel Case Ammunition with the Muzzle Rise Eliminator. Let's see what this looks like and how much the Muzzle Rise Eliminator helps or eliminates the Muzzle Rise. There you go, binary. Oh yeah, I can't wait to analyze that on the slow motion and give you guys some feedback. So let's take a look at all the summary from the four different variations that I did on the test here. We'll go over the Mantis X10 data so that you guys can have a summary of how all of these tests stack up and compare to each other and really see if the muzzle rise eliminator does what it says. So it was really difficult to show a good comparison, but this is the best I could do, guys. Basically, when shooting, the muzzle rise seems very similar, as you'll see from the Mantis data. I mean, 556 and 223 doesn't really give too much recoil, but what I noticed in these side-by-side -side comparisons is that I had more control with the NFA muzzle rise eliminator. I didn't get pushed back too much when firing with that. One. You'll see that more in the rapid fire. Also, here are some still photos of the gases coming out of the muzzle devices. It seems like you get more pushed out the top of the muzzle rise eliminator, whereas as the bigger holes in the A2 birdcage let them escape more easily, and I think in effect, not helping too much. What do you guys think? And here's the Mantis X10 data for recoil analysis. As you can see, very similar numbers overall. However, I marked in green the better of the comparisons, and the new Frontier Armory Muzzle Rise Eliminator comes out on top overall. Though the Muzzle Rise was slightly better with the A2 birdcage, but in general overall, the Muzzle Rise Eliminator worked better for me in controlling the muzzle. All right, everybody, that does it for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. We're over 1,000 subscribers now. That's so awesome. I never thought that this channel would grow that far. But if you guys like this video, please go ahead and like and click subscribe. And if you don't like the video, go ahead and click that thumbs down button twice. Hopefully this video was very beneficial for you. Since these muzzle rise eliminators are relatively new here, and if you like this video and you liked what you saw here with the muzzle rise eliminator, go ahead and head over to New Frontier Armory and pick yourself up one or two or pick up all of the ones you need for all of your rifles. We'll see you in the next video.